Hi everybody, Sunday best. You know what we do here, let's do it. Number 14, the Vikings had a big comeback. Biggest comeback since measles. Number 13, everything in Texas is bigger, including the losses. Ravens beat the Texans 41 to seven. Texans lost so badly, people in Texas stopped bragging about Texas for one full minute. 12, last time the Texans lost this badly, Davy Crockett died. Number 11, the NFL has flexed the Niners-Packers game into Sunday Night Football, and I have flexed my Falcons jacket into next season. 10, Buffalo goes down to Miami for a big win. Usually when a bunch of New Yorkers go to South Florida, they die there. Nine, Bills Mafia in Florida. First Miami day in a long time, there were more tables broken than hips. Eight, Jimmy Garoppolo looks good. I didn't even watch the game, I was just Googling still photos. Handsome. Number seven, Miles Garrett. Oh my goodness. Thank God the NFL is using these new safer helmets. Six, I think if the Browns won more often, they would be better at celebrating. Five, if you missed it, Miles Garrett ripped off Mason Rudolph's helmet and hit him in the head with it. Garrett's gonna be suspended for the rest of the year and any playoff games. That was the part that surprised me the most. The Browns could still make the playoffs. Four, Mason Rudolph said what Garrett did was Bush League. That sounds like a way more fun league than the XFL. Miles Garrett and Vontez Perfect and Tony O'Brown and Dama Kinsu, Johnny Menzel, Ray Rice, the Bush League. This just in, Bush League officials have suspended Miles Garrett. Three, Jimmy Haslam, who owns the Browns and also the Flying J truck stops, has apologized to Mason Rudolph, which I thought was cool. But can I get an apology about the truck stop restrooms? I've been traveling around this country for 25 years. Can I get a clean urinal, please? Jimmy Haslam? Number two, this crazy story made me think about the officiating in the league this year. The, the Steelers are questioning the ruling on the field that the player was just trying to return the helmet to the other player. Well, after further review, the call on the field stands. What the? And number one, the Browns say they're gonna stand behind Miles Garrett. Yeah, because that's where it's safe.